we just added in our cream of chicken soup and that's two cans into our crock pot now we're going to add our chicken breasts just going to go ahead and add those in here one at a time and the next one okay we just added two but you can always add more okay now i'm going to add some black beans get those all in there Woo! yum now we're going to add some whole corn and if you haven't noticed already, it looks like we're making a Spanish type dish here. And now I'm gonna come in with some diced tomatoes and green chilies, a rotel. All right, ooh, that is looking so pretty. All right, and now I'm gonna add some salsa. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and add, since we already added the diced tomatoes, I'm gonna add about one cup of the salsa. And this is a mild flavor. You can always add a spicier flavor if you like your salsa spicy. All right, so we've added the main ingredients. And this is going to be an enchilada dish that I'm making in the crock pot. It's gonna be an enchilada soup. And this is going to be so good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and even though I added the mild salsa in, I'm just gonna add a pinch of this hot sauce that I got from Jamaica. And we're just gonna add that right over here not too much because this stuff is very hot now i'm gonna add some enchilada sauce for seasoning just go ahead and add that right there all right we are almost done here on top of this i am going to add some water all right getting that nice and mixed up i'm gonna add a little bit of salt this is Celtic salt, which is my favorite, which is why I'm adding that. And real quick here, add some pepper. I always like my dishes really spicy, probably because I grew up out west and we just ate a lot of spicy foods. And now I'm gonna add some cumin. Just get that all in there. Oh, it smells so good. And there's probably some of that in the enchilada sauce, but I'm going to go ahead and add some of my favorite spices. And the uh, next one is going to be cayenne pepper, which I do add to everything. And I'll bet you it's probably in that packet too, but that's okay. And lastly, some onion salt. All right, and I almost forgot to add my onions, which I have already pre-cut. So let's go ahead and add on that. All right, we're going to give this a little bit of a mix here just to make sure the enchilada sauce gets a little bit mixed up along with, our, along with all of our ingredients all right and that's it so we're just going to go ahead and put the lid on this and plug it in and then we are going to put this on high heat for about four hours um, at about three and a half hours we're going to check on it All right, it's been about three and a half hours, so we're ready to check on our enchilada soup. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this lid off. There we go, one, two, three. Woohoo! That looks amazing, it smells incredible, and it is gonna be so yummy. I'm just gonna check on our chicken in here because what we wanna do is make sure the chicken gets shredded up. Oh, it looks like it's already started to break apart so that tells me that it is getting pretty cooked so we're just gonna break that apart in there in the crock pot just like that just kind of shred it up until it's in a bunch of little pieces all right now we're gonna go ahead and add in some mexican cheese we want this to be nice and cheesy and next we have some corn tortillas and I'm gonna take some of those out and we're just gonna cut a few pieces up in here right in to our crock pot into little strips just like that maybe I'll make some smaller strips minutes and then it should be ready 
There we go. All right. And now I'm just gonna add on the remainder of our cheese. That is it, that is all of it. So I'm gonna put our lid back on and then we'll come back and check it in about 20 minutes. All right, we're all done. I can't wait to open this up and see how it looks. Here we go. Woohoo! Oh my goodness. That looks so good. This is going to be such a yummy dinner. Wow. Look at that. Oof. Cheese is nice and melted. Just going to get that all mixed around. Oh my goodness. And for our last topping, we are going to add in some fresh cilantro. Well, as fresh as it can be because I was in the Bahamas for a while and I had this sitting in my refrigerator a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. So let's go ahead and mix that in. I'm so glad we had a use for that. I do love cilantro. You don't have to add cilantro. You know, every ingredient is always optional. It's going to taste just as good. That's real. The cilantro is really something is if you really like cilantro and you want to add it, then add it. If you don't like it, it's not going to make a difference. All right, we got our bowl here. Let's go ahead and get some scoops of this. Ooh, look at a big scoop of chicken there. Yum. That looks so good. I know my kids are going to absolutely love this. It's hot, hot, hot. And I know we added in tortillas, but for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and top these off. Top this off here with these. Yum. There you have it. Look at that. Ooh, wee. Look at that. Doesn't that look yummy? Yum. Get that all mixed around. Oh my goodness. And scoop of chicken there.